Alrighty, and hi everybody, and welcome back to Speak Draw! Yay! Except boo, because I skipped another week. I'm so sorry. Like, I know it's not like anyone really obviously is like, you have to upload every week, but it is good to do, and I do feel bad that I just haven't had anything. I mean, I did not get any new figures this month, and I won't be. A bunch of them have been delayed and aren't coming until next month, or they're... I mean, it, it's mostly just delays, and next month is apparently going to be pretty heavy for me, so look forward to that when that happens. I have been going live on Twitch, like I've mentioned. In fact, I did all of this live on Twitch, so that was a lot of fun. You guys keep me vigilant in doing my work and not getting too distracted, so I really appreciate it. Um, Cathaniel's coming by to say hi, so there might be some noise, but... This is just another new character for um, D&D. We're doing Pathfinder this time, but you know, same thing, tomato, tomato, kind of. You know, they get different bits, but same idea. And I love making the characters. The characters are my favorite part of these campaigns. So I always enjoy the character creation part. And this one was kind of different for me. I usually try to mix it up a lot anyways, but the one that we're playing is like a Wild West steampunky kind of thing. And our DM said, hey, you know, their gnolls are, you know, in this region. Like, they're really common. So if anyone wants to do that? And I said, you know what? Why not? So that's why I did it. I wouldn't normally probably pick this race to play or make a character based off of. But that was kind of the fun of it. Um, I just wanted to make someone Southern because we said Wild West and I was like, Yeehaw guns! So that was the main inspiration for this character, and it just kind of went from there. You know, I just kind of let it happen, you know, based on some of the suggestions that I got for my character, and I just made it. I don't put too much thought into it, which is both a good thing and a bad thing, but it was still a lot of fun to make. Obviously, there's always things that I kind of wish I could maybe have fixed in the end, but this was a test on myself because I did make this sketch quick, at least quick for me. Uh, this overall was only four hours-ish, which doesn't sound short, but that's short for me. If I had spent more time on this, this would have very easily been maybe six or seven hours, which is terrible. It should not be. It never needs to be because it came out fine in the end. Like I said, all the things that I wish I kind of would fix are so small that it drives me nuts that I would spend so much time on uh, other projects. So... Either way, I hope you enjoy and like seeing the process uh, and look forward to videos in the future. I have an idea for what I want to try and do next week, but we'll see. I do again always apologize. I know I keep saying it, but I feel bad because I really do want to make these videos weekly. It's a test on myself and obviously if you're subscribed, you enjoy my content. So I try to make that for you, <laughs> but you know. Anyways, just talking about channel stuff, I'm very excited because this is every day that I log on to my account, I see that I'm actually, in a sense, close to getting to a thousand, which I know in these days on the uh, age of the internet, that's not really a big deal, but it's still fun to see. Um, and that's when you actually matter on YouTube is when you get to a thousand. I know it's like close to 700 right now, which again, it's like there's still 300 more to go, but it's it's really exciting. It's more than halfway. So to anyone who is watching this video and enjoying it, thank you because you're part of the reason why this has happened. So, you know, it's great. I hope to do something special once I do get to a thousand. We'll kind of see once I actually get close to that, which again, probably will be a bit because I'm not growing at some huge existential rate. I'm slowly but steadily growing, which is fine. Of course, I'm gonna get a million notifications right now and I forgot to mute my thing. I'm doing this off the cuff, you know, I, I just have to, so I can make these videos. <laughs> I have ideas coming down the pipeline of just general videos. I don't know exactly what I would wanna do for a thousand. I don't, like, you know, people usually do Q and A's for those kind of things, but like, am I really even gonna get cues? to give A's to, you know? <laughs> like maybe I'd get one or two, but that's not enough to make a video. Um, I have thought about making a Discord, 
uh, again, I, I say that on these videos, like when I do my speed draws, because the guy, you guys who are watching these enjoy my content and enjoy me and obviously my art. And well, obviously, I know you guys may enjoy my figure videos. A lot of people that come from those figure videos maybe are just stopping for the actual general review more knowledge based versus content based. So again, that's why I mentioned these here. Um, but I thought about a discord. It can be fun to do like community based things or like I can actually give you guys more immediate updates because I know that especially with Twitch people who do it more often are they have schedules and I can't really unfortunately maybe do much of a schedule for Twitch just because it is something that I just kind of do when I, I do have free time. But let's say theoretically if I'm planning to maybe stream later at night usually I know the day of so I can always post it there uh, I, you know it's kind of one of those things where that's something that you guys are interested in if I see enough people are would like to do that then I will definitely look into making one um, and some of the stuff that comes along with that so if you are interested let me know um, obviously if you think too like a Q&A would be nice I can I can do that I guess <laughs> or even if you just have other cool ideas for like maybe that 1000 mark um, obviously it should be coming from me but that's why I said I came up with a QA and and I was like I don't, who wants to know that much about me I, I wouldn't um, but you know maybe it could be like an art fig video maybe it could be just like I don't I mean if it was an unboxing video but I do that all the time so that's not really something special for a thousand um, maybe something based on my figures but most of them are in boxes and probably will be for a while I've mentioned before like the house is getting worked on but it's gonna be a long time before the figures come out because we want to find a good spot for them before we you know take them all out and we're really lazy and we'll we're also busy because we still work <laughs> um, and you know new house can oftentimes come with a new commute so either way so you know I know there's kind of an info dump there but uh, I just would like to hear your thoughts that's what this is all about I, I, I want to make stuff that you guys like or be interested in or have cool ideas that a lot of you guys have given me ideas in the past like I know someone previously asked for a speed draw, which I really, really appreciate. I'm glad that I finally have gotten something that I could actually make that for. Since the last few things that I've been working on, like I couldn't really share speed draw wise. So, you know, I like making this stuff for you. Um, but you know, just let me know. It's whatever. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. You know, you'll live your life. I'm not your mom, uh, hopefully. <laughs> No, I'm not your mom. No kids. But, you know, hopefully everything's going well with everybody. And everyone that's been sticking around, I really, really, really do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, this kind of sappy post. Uh, I know usually I talk about videos and shows that I've been watching. But, you know, th there was a lot more stuff going on that I've been thinking about. So we'll see. Uh, and other news for interests and things like me, you know, Obviously, cons have been happening again, so that's always really exciting. So if you ever happen to be going to some of these cons and I'm there, I'd love to see you guys. Like, I know uh, the next one coming up is Otacon, which I know could be pretty big. So I would definitely, you know, if you're going, make sure to say hi. I usually try to post my, my lineup so you can know what to look for, of course, um, on my personal Instagram, Snon. And after that, uh, I will be doing a table at Anime Superstar. I happen to have an opportunity presented to me by one of my friends, uh, and they asked if I could help table with them. So I said, why not? So I'm gonna be making actually more art, so we might see more speed draws in the future. But I will be tabling there, so you can actually buy some of my art or commission things, of course, if you are in the area or we're planning to drive out to the con. And of course, again, like I said, I'd love to see you. And then I know the last con, which we got a long ways to go, is NecoCon. But NecoCon is kind of a staple. Uh, if you're going there, I will be a very busy body, but you should definitely go because we are performing like we do every year. We previously had performed Love Live, but this year I took control and we're doing Zombieland Saga. So if you are there, you should 
definitely come and see us. I'm so excited because Zombieland Saga doesn't get enough recognition, I think, for the dances. It didn't get, like, just absolutely spit out with people doing their dances and stuff. So I think it's going to be really exciting. Some of these were actually going to be some of the first people doing it, maybe, if people aren't also racing to get them done. So we'll see. Um, and if you can't make it, we are going to record, like, our actual performance. And we are planning to perform actually record maybe like some of our mirrors of us doing the dance and maybe an, like an MV or something so that's going to be coming down the work woodworks like way down the line but you know in case if you're looking for something to plan way down in November I got your back <laughs> uh, but we're gonna get the end of the video I obviously really appreciate you watching and seeing my art to the end hopefully you like the piece uh you know it's a little bit more furry <laughs> than normal but hey you know it gets you right right yeah <laughs> um and uh make sure to check out all the places this art is going to eventually be posted on my personal instagram at s like i mentioned earlier so you should definitely check it out and not have anything else but i think that's it i hope you have a had a great rest of your last weeks and I hope you have a great rest of your next week. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.